I'm gonna show you how to use this plus six other pieces of trash in making art so you can save money and save the planet by upcycling your waste. Plus an extra bonus tip at the end. It might be kind of difficult to mix a large amount of paint with a paintbrush, especially if it's a soft one and it keeps soaking up the paint so it's harder to clean afterwards. It might also damage the bristles so you have to keep buying new brushes more often. It's easier to mix paint with something hard, like a stick. But where do you get one? Used and rinsed popsicle sticks. It's free and you don't have to clean it afterwards. Or you could just wipe the paint off with a paper towel. You could also glue or tape popsicle sticks together for a painting canvas. Do you have leftover acrylic paint on your palette and it dries up before your next painting session and you end up wasting paint? Use little containers to put the paint in instead that you can close and that keep the paint wet for longer. Cosmetics jars are great for this. Just wash them clean once they're empty and you can mix the paint straight in there and save the leftovers for the next time. Is your art supply storage a mess? It's helpful to keep them in order using organizers, but they're not cheap, especially if you need a lot of them. But there's a free hack. If you buy soap in these big plastic canisters, once they're empty, cut off the top part with a carpet knife or scissors, be careful with the carpet knife though, rinse out the leftover soap with water, and you have a free storage box to organize your art supplies in. Did you run out of canvases or paper to paint on? One free idea is to paint on wood scraps. These wood panel pieces are renovation leftovers. You could paint or draw on them directly, or you can make them a bit neater by sawing off the little ledge and sanding the rugged edges and possibly priming them with gesso. I did a video recently comparing painting on primed and unprimed wood. Oh, what if you have old canvas paintings you're not really fond of anymore? I have a whole series on this channel on how to paint over old canvases whether they're your own old paintings or you got them at the flea market. They sometimes give away used canvases for free. You can find videos on whether you should prime the canvas again or how to turn it over and paint on the backside. You usually need some kind of a jar or container to hold paint water. An easy way to get these for free is using empty food glass jars. Wash it first Soak it in water to peel off the label so it doesn't look like a food jar anymore. Besides using them for paint water, you could also use them to hold your brushes or pencils. And you can use paint pens to customize them if you want them to look nice too. You know how your art supplies, erasers or brushes get dirty in a pencil case from graphite, charcoal or pencil shavings from the pencil sharpener. What if you could compartmentalize them somehow? I get these empty tubes from fizzy vitamin tablets and I realized I could use them to either put the brushes and erasers in there to keep them clean or put the pencils and charcoal sticks that make the mess into tubes and keep the rest of the pencil case clean for other supplies. You can even cut off part of the cork to fit longer things into tube because it only really works for a very short process. As an extra bonus tip, you can also paint on things you find outside. And here's how to paint and draw on stones. Plus, you get to guess which Taylor Swift songs are hidden in my paintings. See you there!